Hey, y'all. Hey, Vicky. Hey, y'all. Come on in. Come on in. I know I ain't been in on a while on live. We about to get into some things. Hey, y'all. Hey. Hey, Nancy. Come on in, y'all. Come on in. Double tap that screen. Hit like for me, y'all. Double tap. Same here, same here. Look, I've been in the shadows, in the spirit realm, working, working, baby, working, getting that soul together, getting that soul together, y'all. So today we're going to talk about, we're going to do like an icebreaker. We're going to talk about like the ascension journey, twin flames, twin souls, uh, missed opportunities, uh, Lilith energy. You know, that's been coming up in the collective. Lilith is, Lilith is in Virgo right now. And Lilith is the shadow of the moon. Our shadow side, our dark goddess side, the side of the dark goddess that we get possessed by. And it's uncontrollable. Um, Lilith left the garden and healed in a while. She deal with animals, their transformation energy, like Chiron energy as well. They heal in similar ways, but Lilith is more like Luciferian type energies. Like that, that she will go there. But she is open minded. That's something a key. That Karen and uh, Lilith have in common. They are open-minded. Uh, a lot of people don't talk about in astrology. So we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna we're gonna, we gonna get down to some things, y'all. Again, if you want to support my ascension journey, hit the Cash App link in my bio. Uh, you can send any donation, whatever you want to send to me. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate all y'all. My wisdom lights. All right. I thought I found true love till I found out he's crossed his own business protocol oh no nancy no what happened thank y'all for the love double tap that screen double tap that screen okay so first off we're gonna start with the center journey if you want me to, if you want me to put a tarot card just let me know i'll pull but um show me some love send some love my way send some support thank y'all so much but the ascension journey what is it is okay you know jesus sacrificed himself what 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 jesus did look at his journey he was a carpenter um 33 years old when his century journey started and um he had to leave that alone and teach the gospel of whatever his spirituality was at that time again we don't fully know we're not there so we could look back at that of like healing going around meeting the people like the aquarian energy the humanitarian energy um a lot of dark demons demonic energy has to face um, a lot of magic. Ju uh, Jesus had Neptune in the 10th house in Scorpio. So a lot of magic, okay? So with that, uh, just think about that, how he died and rose again three days. For me, and my sin journey, it felt like three years for my rebirth. Um, so with that, that tells you right that window of what time, give yourself time on the ascension journey. Uh, what is that? Research that you might think you have the flu. You might think you have, um, some type of disease or disorder or something like that. And it might just be your ascension journey, your ascension symptoms. Um, get into crystal work. What is crystal work? And first thing first, write that down my wisdom lights. Get out of fear. Double tap that screen. Y'all send me some love. If you want a one car pull. Okay. Also, you can cash at me. I'm open to any donations. Y'all support. Remember what you put out, you shall get back. Thank y'all so much. So with that, um, what, what is the ascension journey? Like, again, you got to face your fear. Jesus faced a lot of fear. He went through a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of ups and downs. So write that down. Face my fears. Uh, when I do astrology readings, I tell people all the time, when I when I do and I read their planets, that's one of the first things I write down in a chart. I write down all the fear-based based planets. Why you have to face your fears. Uh, she said, can I get a card? That's Queen. Queen, make sure you send me some love. Send me some love. Double tap that screen or send me a gift, y'all, or cash out me any amount. So, Queen, leave the mess behind. Leave the drama behind. Leave the mess behind. Leave the drama behind. Let go. You won the battle. That's the first thing. Spirit wants you to know. Your high power wants you to know. Let go and get out your ego. And get away from small-minded people, Queen. All right? Get away from small-minded people, okay? Small-minded people. You won the battle. You won the intellect. You are smart. You are not dumb. You're not stupid. Remember that. You are very wise. What is wise? What is smart? Re-education. That's re-education is smart, meaning you're open-minded to know, okay, I'm not the smartest in the room, but I'm not the dumbest either, meaning I'm open to going somewhere and learn something. If one door is closed, another one will, oh, like that type of mindset, like that's you, you won, you got three, they lost theirs in the card, the five of swords. So remember, fives deal with some type of loss, so lose something to gain something else, and that is your wisdom. 
All right, queen. Hey, y'all, double tap that screen, double tap that screen. We talking about the ascension journey. What it's like, what did Jesus do? Why did? Why are we using that blueprint right now at this day and time? Why Aquarius, age of Aquarius, age of Aquarius is looking at something in a different way. Flip the card upside down. That's Uranus, Aquarius energies, okay? We're going to talk about twin flames, twin souls. What is that? And why you got to go through it. For one, you're anointed. You're called to be the Jesus of your bloodline when you're going through that twin flame, twin soul journey. All right. And that takes like that Spider-Man uncle saying with great power comes great responsibility. Thank y'all so much. Double tap that screen. Send me some love. Thank you, Vicky. All right. If I miss your question, just uh, put on that one carpool and I'll send you. i do your one carpool. OK, thank y'all so much for the love. Keep sending it. Thank y'all so much. I'm back. Look, thank y'all. Um, with that, the twin soul, the twin flame is levels to it. It's different perspective. Like I say, it's different angles. Flip the card, north, south, east, and west, okay? So there's different angles to look at the soul evolution of who you are, why you're doing it, and just the why of it all, perspective. That's what we're going through. Write that down. That's what we're dealing with right now. Thank you so much. I got to get a refill. Um, that's what we're going through right now with the Ascension journey and the age of Aquarius, different perspectives of looking at things. Weird, strange, um, alien, getting comfortable with being in outer space behind the screen, behind the screen of life. Um, what is life? Life and death go one and the same. Like how they, how Gemini energy, the twins and stuff like that, life and death go hand in hand. I tell you all the time they come to me to grow on their journeys, their magic, their spirituality, their soul evolution. I tell them, get comfortable with death. People ask, oh, with my third eye, open my third eye. Are you ready to die? Are you ready to have spiritual ego death? What is ego death? Ego death, dark night of the soul, is like you're losing your mama, you're losing somebody or something you love so much. And you can't have it anymore. That's like you going to a four-year college, you got your bachelor's, you got your master's, you got your doctoral, and you can't get that job with all those years of college you did. I will look to your ninth house. I will look to your ninth house rule in astrology. What the fuck is going on? Why you had to waste all that time and get all those degrees? Yeah, that's going to help with your new natal chart, your life after death, Egypt. Well, Egypt prepared everybody for the life after death, um, your next life. But what is happening? Why is your life turning like that? Where's Uranus in your natal chart? Where's Neptune? You know, what is your eighth house? Your fears you haven't faced. Because that with that, it's like if a person go and get all those, those degrees and those accolades, you skip straight over the eighth house. You skip straight over that. Because you 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 mastering, you you showing the world ninth house energy. That's college. That, those certificates, those degrees. That's ninth house energy. So with that, you know, I want y'all to write that down, my wisdom lights, like what, like the ascension journey, the twin flame, twin souls, you know, why you're Jesus of your bloodline, okay? Why you're chosen? Why did God choose me? Even though you might not have nothing you want, even though you might not have the love of your life, even though you might not have the dream that you hope for yourself with those degrees, you still feel chosen. You still feel that spark in you of that God chose me for something, for someone, for a better purpose, a calling on in, in, his, in his life, in his world, in his, in his realm. Do you feel it? Like, I don't have what I want or what I need, but I still feel chosen. I may be poor, but what is that? What is poor? When I'm rich and wealthy of knowledge, wisdom, I have so much talent. People don't have talent or skill. What is that? <laughs> what is poor? But poor is money. Right now, reason why I'm saying it right now, Venus, Libra, South No, astrology. Get into astrology. You got to know what the stars are saying. That's how they found Jesus. That's how the three wise men, the three magis, the three witches, whatever you want to call it, found Jesus. And blessed his life, blessed his soul. He anointed. That's mind, body, spirit. Okay, mind, body, Holy Spirit, whatever you want to call it, the three came and blessed them. Brittany said, can I get a call? Yes, Brittany, make sure you send me some love. Double tap that screen, y'all. Let's get our likes up. Thank y'all for sharing. Thank y'all for tapping in. Brittany, spirit. What spirit stand? Okay, you in your own way. We're going to talk about that. That's on the notes. When you in your own way, Brittany, what, what does that look like? Write that down. Being in my own way. Look, the lights went off, y'all. Being in my own way, what does that look like? Okay. It's like it's like you may be afraid of love or commitment. You got the Knight of Cups. 
Did somebody bring you an offering, Brittany? Hey, y'all, double tap that screen. Show me some love. Remember, cash out me any donations. I'm open to it. I accept anything you may offer me. Thank you, cash out. is a link in, in my bio, okay? So, Brittany, you got to figure out what it is that is you're afraid of. Remember, she made perspective. She may be tied up. Her mind may be messed up, blindfold on, the ropes around her hands, her hands tied behind her back, but it's her feet, okay? Yeah, her feet not tied. Her feet not tied, but she's standing in a pot of water. What? This is terror. This is therapy. What does this look like to you? She's able to still tap those motherfucking feet and move. Okay? Fear, y'all. I said that early on. Fear. You got to send some love, y'all. Send me a gift. Send me some heart. Send me some love, okay? Double tap that screen. So fear is in the way of this person. She feel tied up from the top up. From the first house to the sixth house. That's Aries to Virgo in traditional astrology, okay? Other uh, natal chart. But with that, the last six is kind of free. Pisces, that's Neptune in the 12th house right up, but under her feet. She could slide. Can you roll? Can you shake? Can you wiggle? Can you get up? The spirits are saying yes. But this is some type of offering. What is God offering you? What is your high power offering you? What are you offering yourself? One thing I'm learning with this Libra soft node and that value of, you know, maybe feeling poor, things being taken away from you because the eclipse have to take before you can get. It's faded. You got to lose. That soft node. You got to lose. You got to lose. So with that, what is that like for your journey? That's something you got to get personal with. That's something you got to write in your journal, in your, your memoir for your life. What it is the South Node in Libra showing us all right now. Okay? What is it? What is it showing you on your personal journey? And it looks like you in your own way of your blessing. What is that blessing? Again, what does that look like for you? What is it you need? What is God trying to show you? God right now trying to show me different money-making opportunities. My parents pushing me to like, you know, hey, I heard this place hiring. You know, like different things like that. Like God is showing me opportunity. Can I take it? Something is blocking me. What is blocking me? Other evil people, billionaires are coming against me. My wisdom of who I am and who the fuck they are not. So remember your worth. The soft no Libra, Venus energy. Remember your worth. That's why I haven't been on. I'm being attacked by millionaires. Billionaires. Big people that may have the physical money but don't have the motherfucking soul. Don't have that wisdom. Don't have that ashy. But do you. All right. Do you have it? Hey, y'all, come on in. Double tap that screen. Show me some love. Remember, I'm open to any cash apps, any support. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Hey, y'all, come on in. Jenny Spirit. What Spirit has for Jenny? Thank you, Vicky. Thank y'all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So that is who is that jenny jenny you have the high priestess when a high priestess come out this one of my cars i say okay you got to stop asking questions you got to walk that path you see she got a laptop she's sitting down she's comfortable she's working she got the black and white pillars back there there's more of that wisdom that duality can you go in the in between okay can you be in the in between so this shows me um she got the moon above her head the crisis energy the triple goddess energy above her head so this person is supported this is second card in tarot this she has purple on she's royal remember raw purple this raw it's a lot of people can't rock that purple color so this is showing me that you have to continue to work you have to continue to do something. You uh, Look, her eyes are open. Her chin is up. She's not looking down. This is power here. But when power comes, you got to go through heavy, 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 dark experiences. You got to go through pain. You got to go through trauma. Why? That's eighth house energy. This is other people's business. This is other people's stuff. This is other people's trauma that is pushed onto you, forced onto you. Scorpio traditional rules the eighth house. Pluto. But you, everybody don't have it there. With the 8th house, whatever sign, planet is ruling the house, it's forced upon you. You can't control it. It's forced. When you go into an 8th house transit. Ego, death, the 8th house, do with death. Pluto, Scorpio. Death, trauma, pain, sex, 
all that taxes or other people's stuff like the government coming in and say hey you got this big old tax bill when you just clearly knew you got a, a tax refund and you just felt you was in the clear nope when you have an eighth house transit you will be hit and it will hurt while it rules down so with this this is the number two card the second house opposite the eight what is your value what is your worth jenny oh somebody say oh stephanie say she got an eighth house telling here you, I had Saturn now, I, but I had Saturn in the air sign in Aquarius, which is rules, trying Jupiter conjunct Venus in the seventh with the degree points. Um, and I think I had Saturn squaring something. I can't remember. I almost had Saturn six times my son. That's why I'm very responsible. You could, you could tell that I'm grounded, that I know what I'm talking about. I'm full of wisdom. I'm full of something. Saturn deals with being full. That's why Saturn had to get the rings and the, 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 uh, the authority energies around, around Saturn of like, what I learned with Saturn energies is like, you have a lot of that. Remember, Kronos ate his children. And symbolic astrology and symbolic spirituality, somebody eating something, meaning I'm, Getting something, I'm digesting something, I'm taking something in, I'm full of it, I'm full of, children represents Jupiter, Jupiter represents, uh, I'm full of wisdom, I'm full of power, I'm full of that king energy, I'm full of something, but it depends on what it is, what you're full of. With children, it's like, he didn't want to be overthrown, he wanted the power, even though he helped overthrow other people. So, with that, I'm seeing spirits showing me of like, um, he didn't want nobody in my, in a way you're full of that already. So why do I need you in my way? Did they die? No, there was a mortal. They were still alive. So again, perspective of that, the way you look at it. So I, they, the children were still alive, but in a dark place. Saturn was still alive, but in a what? Dark place. Even though he was outside in the light, he was still in a dark place. Why? Those children were still alive. The energy was still alive. It was still alive. So with spirit showing me wherever Saturn is that you have, it deals with reality. Something being alive. Let me write that down. Saturn deals with something being alive. So wisdom lights, get your pen and write that down. Saturn in astrology deals with something being alive. In a light or dark place, in a situation, okay? Hey, y'all, double tap that screen for me. Let's get our likes up, y'all. Thank y'all so much for the love, support. Remember, what you put out, you shall get back. Okay? All right? Hey, y'all, come on in. Uh, So with that, know your Saturn placement. Know your responsibility of not... That's like what I said earlier with the twin flame connection. When you know you're a twin soul, twin flame, Um, you know, with that power of their connection. Don't abuse it. Uh, Spider-Man, Uncle, I like what one of my spiritual advisors told me. They said with that type of connection, you know, it with great power comes great responsibility. I, hold, I don't want to cry. I hold that to my heart because that's why I feel. I feel like God chose me. So why would I fuck it up? When you feel the anointing, that calling on your life, and you feel like, I don't have the self-worth, I feel low. And then one day I find out that I already knew I was special. And one day you find that clarity that, that oh my God, God chose me for a special mission, a special gift, a special something. And somebody, other people want to fuck it up and play with it. My power, who I am, I will kill you. I will take you out for fucking up something God chose me. I didn't feel special. I didn't feel special. And for one day, God to hit me and say, bam, I see you, you special. You special. For God to see you are all these people. That is beyond. Like, that's the most humbling thing ever. I was so humble. It didn't hurt when a person, like, rejected it and played with it. Multiple people. To sit there and laugh and play with those connections. And then come against somebody that is so humble, so sweet, so willing to do anything for the people. I had a dance team. I was in a community for 10 plus years giving back. 
And then God said, okay, enough. Sit down. I'm about to make you find you. See how the lights went off when I did it? Come on, look down. Come on, the lights went off. God saw me down for a whole year. I worked at T-Mobile. Thank God, sur God surrounded me by people that accepted this. God, I did full, free readings that whole year of 2017. Everybody that wanted one, I love you too. Everybody that wanted one, I gave it away. I just said, here, I'm practicing. I'm learning. I had a whole year to master this. Just going in like, hey, this is what this is. You know, like learning tarot with people that was open to it. I felt so at home. I felt comfortable. I felt safe to reveal who I was. And then get people to laugh and joke and not take it seriously. When this is your own therapy, when people ask me, ain't this evil, ain't this witchcraft? What the fuck is witchcraft? Having a baby is witchcraft. Breathing, having sex, cooking is witchcraft. Going in there and fix you some grits, egg, and a meal is witchcraft. Somebody said, oh, said doing hoodoo and voodoo me. Bitch, you going to Walmart. They doing hoodoo and voodoo on you to come shop. Look, y'all, I always say when I start this video, I say, face your fears. Heal your root chakra. And that's what everybody dealing with now with this North Node and Aries. Their root chakra going off. Their hell going off. Their fears are going off. Why? Venus, the one, everything everybody loves, everything sweet of life, Venus Roulette, has been eclipsed away. I'm, I'm taking away everything you love. And can you face the man or woman in the mirror? Can you face that darkness? That's why I cut the light off. Can you face it? Can you face you? That's why the twin flame thing coming up, the twin soul. Can you face you? We hear you. This is good. You learned something. New. Yes. Thank y'all so much. Double tap that screen. Thank y'all for the love and support. Thank you for listening. Thank you for giving me a place to talk about this, you know. She said, baby, I'm blocked. And no, so I'm coming. Okay, come on. You unblocked. Because again, think of that too with Saturn. Saturn rules blocks. Blocks, I learned blocks of protection. People always ask me, say, why you don't have a boyfriend? Or why you not, you know, where your person at? Da, da, da. I had Saturn in the eighth house. I was being protected. I was being protected. Like what came up with this twin flame, the celebrity stuff for the past 10 months when the North Node got activated with Aries? Everybody fears and stuff. I had a whole bunch of twins and so twin souls come at me trying to pull, trying to get me out in the public. That's why I say I have billionaires and stuff coming at me right now, trying to take me out. Um, it's like I was being protected from it. But Saturn gives you that over time. Why was they being protected from me or was I being protected from them? That's another conversation. But with that, Don't see things as a block. Think, shift your perspective. See that you've been protected. That's what I learned right when I ascended on one of my, or, or the early part of my sin journey. I came across the book of There's a Spiritual Solution for Every Problem. That book by Wayne Dyer, that book, I don't want to start crying, Lord, I feel the spirit moving through me. That book shifted my perspective in a way of like, look at everything in a problem solver way. That's how you get to heaven. Thank y'all. Double tap that screen. I love y'all too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, become a problem solver. Why? X, Y. I always tell my people, X, Y. Why should I become a problem solver? Hey, double tap that screen. Thank y'all for the love and support. Remember, if you want to show any donation, any love, cash out me. My links are in the bio. Thank y'all for any donations. Okay. So with that, it's like what it is. That's a problem for you. What it is need solving. And we talked, I was going to talk about that too with relationships, love, money, Venus on the South Node, Libra South Node, Mars on the North Node. What it is you need to take action on North Node, Mars, Aries. What it is that's sweet or loving, you need to let go. Libra South Node. Now remember, for the 18 months those nodes are in that sign, 
It takes away, but it also gives. But something around the Aries energy, you have to find within self to say, I'm not codependent. I can rely on myself. Key point of that. Uh, no replacement access point. I could take care of myself. Okay. So what is money? What is energy? What is that? That's money. Energy. Do you have the energy to get up to go to work? Do you have the energy to get up and handle business? Do you have the energy to fight those demons? Do you have the energy to handle what you need to handle to enjoy life, to enjoy um, your world? Okay. Um, let's see. Ego death. Again, ego death is or the uh, dark night of the soul is really not having something you want and desire. And it could be them pulling on you. It might be a psychic attack. And that's all a psychic attack is. Somebody is heavily thinking about you, trying to figure out how to get to you or communicate to you in a physical way. That's like somebody not having a telephone and they're constantly thinking about you. Okay, they're constantly thinking about you and they can't get through. So it might feel like you're being possessed. It might feel like you're like, oh my God, why is this person on my mind? That's a crown chakra activation, a block as well. That is them busting your crown open. Like, that's like me busting this hat, like the wind blowing my hat off. That's them trying to get in your head. Is that safe? No, it's not. Why you can't pick up the phone? That's a block throw chakra. Okay? That's a block throw chakra. So with it, it's like, do what can I do? That's when you go to your spiritual advisors if you can't burn your candles as well. But I always say people get help. I do that to myself. I support other people's businesses. I, it's not a problem. I, I'm not, again, I'm problem solver. It's not a problem for me to go support somebody else's business. If I feel like I'm being blocked by it, that's another thing. But also remember, blocked. So what my wisdom likes? Protection. With that, what, is you, what are you addicted to? That's the sweetness of life that Libra South know. Everybody want that money. But can you have it? Everybody want um that sweet that love that part of that twin flame that celebrity twin flame you got your local twin flame then you got your celebrity one um what what is it the sweetness of life the sweetness of life and again if you want money you got to have an active throw chakra a lot of your a lot of your chakras need to be flowing i mean a lot of them especially the root with fear where the color red more um, do things like that. Wear blue. My colors for my dance team is red, white, and blue. Blew me up. Those were the two chakras that you needed to help with getting money, getting action. Remember, red is action. Red is ruled by Aries. That north node. She said, close mouth. Don't get. That's it. That's it. And another thing, flip that as well. Add to that. Get some wisdom to that. Y'all can write that down. Close mouths don't get fed, but also write down um a closed mind. Don't get fed as well. Why? You need to feed your mind with knowledge. That's their crown chakra. That means when somebody hitting their crown, they're overusing it too much. They're overusing their crown too much. They're thinking too much. And they're not talking too much, especially to the right person. That's why I'm very direct. I have no choice. I have no choice. I got Mars in the sixth house. The sixth house is what you do every day. Ruling my first, I have to be direct. Aries ruling my first house, I have to be direct. It just is what it is. I start itching if I can't be direct. So with that, it's like balance that out. Don't be too abrasive, you know, you know, because they might be sensitive. You're dealing with a sensitive person sometimes, especially if you're the twin or divine counterpart or in business or whatever. You the more direct one, you know. Calm down, breathe, but. Get it done. It's just, I'm learning with a lot of people right now. A lot of people just don't know how to communicate. And you get the 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 Aries type person, the Martian type person get agitated and ready to just chop them up. Slow down. Slow down. Take your time. And let's get into that. Retrograde, retrograde season approaching. What it is you failed in. There's something right there down my wisdom lights. Hey, y'all. Yes. Thank, thank y'all so much for tapping in. Look, double tap that screen. Yes, I'm teaching. I'm preaching tonight. Retrograde season is here. We just came through Mercury retrograde in Aries. Write this down. Retrograde season brings up the past. If you think you got it all going, you think you know what you're doing, you think, you think, you think. Retrogrades come in and say curveball. That's the hand of God moving in saying, nope. Face this in your reality or face this from a past life. 
A lot of people don't realize they were retrograde season. We got Pluto about to go retrograde. Then you got Saturn, Neptune, Uranus, and Jupiter going to retrograde till the fall. So with that, the planets, are, I think Mars... Venus will retrograde last year. I think Mars will retrograde this year or in early next year. That's going to be a lot as well with energy. Um, but yeah, Jupiter about to go into Gemini. A lot of more communication. A lot of throw chakra action. A lot of communication. Gemini rules the phones, the communication. Um, remember, Aquarius, Uranus rule the electricity behind it. Um... Uh, Y'all, it's just, I don't know. I feel good energy coming from this way, but I feel a lot of heat coming from the left side. So I'm just tapping to the spirits. Remember, send me some love if you want a one car pull, okay? But um, she said, I need to do a one on one. Yes, please head over to my website, book those sessions. I'm here for you. I died for you. Let's tap into the Christ energy. I sacrificed the eighth house. Like somebody just said, they have the eighth, eighth house stellium. I went through my death situation for years for you, for my people. All walks of life, all my people, I did that for you. God took me out, the devil, whoever, the dark lord, whoever. Because I don't, that's one thing about me. When you really tap into true spirituality, you know, God in the Bible, they say God sent the devil. God sent the devil. Dark and light have to coexist. It is one and the same. If you are, again, that's why I tell you, face your fears when they start coming to me. Face your fears. To get the money, to get whatever you want. Face your fears. What is that? Let's look into the birth chart, your natal chart, your star codes, who you are, your genetic code, your, your medical astrology, your chart. Face your fears. Get that done. So with that, so with that, it's like, I'm losing thought, y'all. Hold on. But yeah, head over to my website. Hey, hey, y'all, come on in. We going in talking about our ascension journey. Uh, twin flames, twin souls, your local, your celebrity ones. Um, money, the Libra South Node, Venus, our self-worth, what we had to lose to gain something different, to gain something new. All right. Hey, y'all, double tap that screen. So with that, what it is. We need to get vulnerable with to make the money. What it is we need to face. Because remember, everything right now until 2025 with the, the, the nose and the eclipses are in Libra and Aries. We have to face something around our self-worth, the energy of feeling poor. And when I say feeling poor, I mean feeling poor of energy, money, uh, just life. Just feeling like I have everything right here. I may be lacking something here. I may have it this way, but I might not have it that way. What area of life feels poor to you? What It may be lack of skill, talent. A lot of people are not skilled or talented. They may be lacking it. Why? There's always opportunity to grow. Are you open-minded? Again, we just talked about the crown chakra, the throat chakra, and the certain chakras you need activated to make money and to thrive. All right? Can you go back to school? You see the teacher right there. Can you work? What's blocking you? Feel. Feel. What it is. Vulnerability. This car, this lady is naked. One of the ladies are naked. Can you feel what it is you need? Like touch your body. After a shower, sit naked, moisturize your skin, protect your skin, feel into you. The Saturn energy, the biggest organism is ruled by Saturn, the skin. Okay? What it is you need to make your money, your, your, your love, your career, everything you want and need in life. But remember, to master the school of Earth, you have to master Neptune energy so you won't come back or have a better life next lifetime all right that's that energy the ascending master energy we talked about the ascension journey earlier in the video i'm gonna chop it up post it on my uh tiktok and youtube and my social medias okay so remember that uh let's see ego we talked about the ego dev getting on your own way and what does it look like fear root chakra hey yeah queen i'm gonna get you send me some love y'all i got you i'm gonna get you a card in one second let me get this out um people in your way is it people or is it your perception in your way Double tap that screen, y'all. Give me some love. Also, I'm accepting donations. Head over to my Cash App or PayPal, okay? Or Apple Pay. My phone number should be up there. 
Um, missed opportunities. What retrograde plan? That was retrograde season. Missed opportunities. What is it you're missing? Uh, we talked about sitting journey and resting. Can you rest? Can you sit? All right. And what does that look like? How long it take? That's another ego death. People might think, oh, no, I need like a two week vacation. You might need six months. You might need a year. You might need 18 months with that type of eclipse going through. The, if you got the eclipses going through your eighth house of death, you will be sitting for 18 months. OK, so. That's a lot, especially if it's eclipse going through your career houses or your money houses, you will be moving jobs. You might get promotion. You might not like that promotion. You see what I'm saying? It will be a fluctuation of change when you're going through certain transits. Book a session. Head over to my website. I'm here. I'm alive. I got breath in my body. I'm here for you. I can work. Stop being mean, evil people out there. Stop being mean. Okay. For queen, queen, you have the Aquarius card, the star card, support by your ancestors. It seems like you have master vulnerability. You now have to step into manifesting your dreams, your hopes, wants, and wishes with the ace of wands backing you up. So with that, keep facing your fears. This girl is naked or this person is naked. You all have one foot in the water, one foot in land, meaning you able to get to those dimensions, get through those hard rock places, um, get out of those hardships. And what is hardships? You don't have any. You're naked. She working. She's moving. She has some type of money. Why? She has two pitchers filled with water. One in the water, one in land. She has some type of resources, some type of support. So shift your perspective. You feel like you're blocked and stuck with your manifestations. Saturn and Pisces blocking people with hard, disc like, like not doing magic right. Are um because remember Pisces rule the collective unconscious. So the collective unconscious is going through a rebirth, an ending of the collective not doing magic right. The collective not having organized magic or organized schools of like being uh having um um a certificate to do magic. That's what I'm learning. That's what I went through with this NFL stuff and things I've been dealing with with these twin flames and this spiritual attack from certain NFL players. So. With that, it's a lot of energy around um, the collective right now with Saturn and Pisces until next uh, summer to get out of the collective unconscious. What are your unconscious behaviors? What are your blind spots? The 12th house. What are your blind spots? What is it you can't see? What is you afraid of? What are you keeping in your closet? Why are you not cleaning that closet out? Why are you not cleaning that subconscious out? This girl is naked. It looks like her subconscious is clear. Why? She's completely naked, completely vulnerable, completely unafraid. Why? She has an animal right there flying. She has a star shining. She has support. Clear support with the star card. So shift your perspective if you feel like you've been blocked. Take a course. Educate yourself. Do something. Get some type of certificate. You have the support of God. You have the ace of all wands. This is beautiful energy of support. All right? Beautiful energy of support for a queen. Um, but yeah, we talked about unconditional love, what it is about the gender energies of as above, so below. Double tap that screen, y'all. Let's get the love going. Send me some love, y'all. Send me some roses. So Aries, uh, Libra energy is the lower octave of Neptune and Pluto. So those energies like below is Mars, Venus separate. That's the jail. Male on one side, men on one side, women on the other. Now we have Neptune and Pluto, the high octave of those energies up in heaven. So hell is Venus, Aries, separate. Men, women on separate ends. Now you get higher, 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 higher dimensions, higher octave, higher energies. You have those planets, Neptune, Pluto, where everything is a collective. Everything is together. A lot of people don't like being together with their other self, their other half, their, um, the other side of them. They're twin flame energy. They're where they come from. So if you got Venus, Neptune, or Neptune, Mars activated in there, or it touching Pluto, you could deal with their twin flame energies in your lifetime. Okay. Um, so with that, what does that look like for you? Also, Neptune rule magic. Can you master magic or energy to get off the planet that's working with crystals, archangels, gods, goddesses, the spirit realm, stuff like that? 
can you get that? I look at people that are afraid of the magic or the spirit realm or any type of like heavy, heavy magic, hoodoo, voodoo. Remember, hoodoo, write that down my wisdom line. Hoodoo equals church. Hoodoo, I mean, voodoo is a religion. So write down voodoo equals church. So I would say, oh, hey, y'all, I'm going to voodoo on Sunday. Don't say if you practice voodoo, you will say that I'm going to voodoo. I'm not going. Uh, so you can say that that's voodoo mean church. That's the religion name. I'm going to voodoo. I mean, hoodoo. Shit, wait, my mind. I'm going to voodoo on Sunday or Thursday, God. Shit. So with that, I'm going next into hoodoo is the practice. It's not voodoo dolls. It's hoodoo dolls. Hoodoo is the practice of that. Hoodoo magic, hoodoo. All right? A hoodoo Bible uh, like that. Or the voodoo Bible that help you practice. I mean, the voodoo Bible that help you practice hoodoo. So do we have voodoo Bibles out there? I don't know. We need to start it. Y'all should do your research. All the people, my wisdom likes watching my channel right now. Anybody you share this to, like, hey, let's get our voodoo Bible going. Why? When you like when you learn and practice or get into uh, voodoo, some teachers say you I cannot teach you or you cannot really practice this unless you know the Bible. Why? M right there in plain sight. The three wise men bought Jesus what? The astrology. Follow the North Star as astrology, a.k.a. witchcraft for people. Then they bought him herbs, frankincense and myrrh, other stuff, crystal stones, all type of stuff. Then you got Moses and other people sacrificing animals to God. If you feel like you stuck, I just sacrificed some fish the other day. Got some answers. So with that, go sacrifice the animal. Moses did it. It's in the Bible. Right there in your face. You don't like your life. Go sacrifice the animal. My daddy and them like to hunt and fish. Next time they go, I'm going to go out there and grab me a couple and I'm going to sacrifice it. Why not? They did in the Bible. Moses did it. Do you want me to follow the Bible? Do it. Right? What my right said. Everybody put right in there. Write in a comment. Do a like sign. Do a thumbs up if you understand what I'm saying. If they did in the Bible, you could do it too. If not, the churches need to be shut down. Right or wrong. Talk to me. I got some likes up there. Talk to me. Right or wrong. Everybody that go to church, we they should have like they have the, the first Sunday. The first Sunday we're taking the communion, but also everybody need to bring some type of animal or we, we need to be burning a ram. The lights cut off. It's the truth. The power went out. We need to go sacrifice the animal for God. We need to go sacrifice the animal for God. He like rams and stuff like that. I like fish. You can sacrifice a fish. Why wow, fish is bounty. <laughs> All right. So with that, so with that, uh, <laughs> uh, think about that. That's hindsight, perspective, age of Aquarius, Uranus. Remember, flip the car upside down. Look at everything. Why did God want us to sacrifice? Why did Moses have sacrificed it? For energy, for results. Okay, she said, yeah, fish is the furthest thing I'm going. <laughs> Do it. I'm telling you, you get results. You can go to go to the, the pet store, give you a couple goldfishes. Do something to get the energy shifted for you. But again, remember, it's in the Bible. They want, they told, it's all in your face, y'all. They wanted y'all to know the Bible for a reason. Again, perspective now. That's why I look at the Bible as a diary of their journey, a collective journey of what they went through at that time. We're not in that time. So shift your perspective on it. God wanted people to sacrifice. It could be time and job. Why? You did two weeks of work. You get paid. You sacrifice something. So with that, why not sacrifice other things? I had to, for me, my sacrifice was my relationships. I can have a physical relationship. Why? I was reborn as Christ's energy and I have a beautiful new birth chart. I'm right now, my spiritual rebirth, I'm four years old, about to be five in uh, August. That was my sacrifice. Why? If you look at my new chart, it speak on me marrying my husband, marrying my true love. I did the sacrifice work. It's all about what type of sacrifice, and sometimes we do it unconsciously. Sometimes we do unconscious. Hey, y'all. She said, can I get a card? Uh, Dante's. Let's see. So they send me some love. Let's see what spirit, your high power, God, your goddess, your guide. I coined that too for my gay guys and goddesses out there. We don't have a lot of representation. The guide is out there. G-O-D-D-I. The goddess. 
the Gaddies. Not the John Gaddy. No, no, no. I like them too. But the Gaddy. Okay, the Gaddies out there. The trans of the LGBTQ plus community. The Gaddies. My Gaddies. All right. Also, I'm coining this mine. I got to record it. The North Node, the South Node, I call it. If you know, you booked a session with me, you did a treasury with me, you know already. Thank y'all for the love. You know already about, I call the North Node, South Node, the new credit card, the max out credit card. North Node, new credit card, how you gonna spend it? That's your destiny. How you gonna spend that destiny card? God gave you a full brand new card. 10,000, 100,000, a million dollar credit limit on that new card, the North Node. South Node in astrology. Hey, Annie, hey. South Node in astrology, that's a maxed out credit card. I coined it. No other astrologer talk like that. It's mine. Okay? It's mine. You hear anybody send me a screenshot, I'm going to go get them. It's mine. Okay? So, with that, for Dante's, we have the Ten of Swords. Get out of your own way. When I say that, this is a burden. You carrying too much. And get people out of your way. Get people. We talked about that earlier in the video. This live, the Ascension Journey, the Twin Souls, uh, how I'm being attacked by billionaires, the certain NFL stuff I'm dealing with, behind the scenes stuff I'm dealing with. Uh, get get this burden off you. Why? You will have victory once you let it go. You will have victory once you let it go. Okay? Powerful victory with the Six of Clubs. I mean, Six of Wands. And this is what you desire, Dante, is just... Kill the dead weight. Go detox. Do a seven-day cleanse. Drink apple cider vinegar, like a cap of it mixed with water or something. Lime water. Do a detox cleanse. Do ginger, turmeric, and stuff like that. Do some type of cleanse. And um, cut the dead weight, okay? Y'all book a session with me. I'm good with that. Uh, I have my fortune, Astro fortune, and Scorpio trying my ascendant. Losing weight is easy for me. What Again, I'm dealing with blocks. From other people. I'm going through eighth house transit. We talked about the eighth house earlier. All my Leos going through eighth house transit while Saturn in our our eighth house for two and a half years, some type of karmic stuff, for stuff from authority figures or people think they're over us. Oh, I own you. No, you don't. Then next year, when the North Node switches to our eighth house, we're going to have new death experiences. It should be kind of funner then with the North Node bringing something new. Shouldn't be too bad. It should be some type of big money gain as well. Saturn is kind of difficult. It's a malefic in astrology, a villain. So malefic, my wisdom lies write that down. Bill, malefics in astrology equal sign villains in astrology, okay? That's my coin. I coined it right here. Uh, but uh, Dante, this is good energy. Once you cut the dead weight, you will have victory over your situation, over your life. Do a detox, some type of cleanse, and let it go. Hey, y'all, come on in. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for the support, all right? Um, let's see what else. Remember, y'all, donate to my um, channel, my business. If you want to book a, if you don't want to book a session, I take all types of donations. Head over to my website, y'all. I appreciate all the support. Remember, I died for you, okay? I'm doing this for you. God sought me down for you, all right? I was a dance coach for 10 plus years. I did my service to community, the humanity, the cosmos, okay? Now it's time for me to give back to you in a different way, perspective. Okay, thank y'all so much. I love y'all. All right, remember, we talked about the twin souls. What is that? Do you have that calling of your life? Remember, when you were chosen with that twin flame, twin soul energies, you deal with uh, with Spider Man Uncle said, with great power comes great responsibility. Okay, so keep that in mind. Of like, um, don't take advantage of it. If that person is not talking to you, do not focus on them, focus on others. Focus on Saturn energy is your real reality. That's what I try to do, but he's tearing me up. Or they are all, because there's a lot of them, with my collective energy I deal with. Because I have Mercury conjunct Pluto, the collective twin energy I'm dealing with. So with that, it's like, it's a lot of spiritual attacks, psychic attacks. What is psychic? Somebody heavenly thinking about you or somebody heavenly doing magic on you. And it might not be magic. They might just be thinking about you. All these celebrities talking about, oh, somebody did witchcraft on me or did voodoo. No, baby. You're a celebrity. You just having a psychic attack. You're becoming more aware of the cause people doing. Why? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius rule the call center of heaven. You can't take being a celebrity. Get out of that heaven. Stop answering the call. Okay? Stop answering the call. For all the ones that's trying to come home and find your suit, your true soul, you just answer the call. 
or make that call. So, so it's like a flip right there. Make that call. Make that call, okay? Make that call. So remember that the air signs deal with communication. Call center of heaven, the cosmos. The call center of the cosmos. Thank you, Stephanie, for the love. Thank you, Jennifer, y'all. Hey, Dante, thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for the love. Y'all, we going into that on the live. I ain't been on the while. I've been spiritually attacked by a lot of billionaires, millionaires, the NFL. A lot of my twin souls, twin flames are in the NFL, the NBA. I'm dealing with a lot. I'm dealing with a lot. A lot of my money has been stopped. A lot of things I had to go do. Like I said, I went through eighth house transit with Saturn Cross in my eighth house of death. Taxes, other people business, sex, all type of stuff. Power. The eighth house is a powerful uh, power house as well. Okay. So with that, you have to realize of like, okay, is this death or is this some type of rebirth I'm going to? What it is, I had to, I could ego death when the eighth house is being hit. Or if you are born Scorpio, you have a lot, you born to die in the sense of like the ego death. Why? You become a phoenix. And when I say that, I, Cedric Brown, mean that you have to face like hard situations, dark situations. Why? You one of the most powerful of them all. When you are chosen to be, or when you choose to be a Scorpio, if that's your karmic debt, you have, you have come in to become one of the most powerful people, souls of your life. Okay? You have, you chose to become that, but it is hard. It's painful. That's why I'm hard on my water babies of like taking care of their energy, taking care of their soul, taking care of them. Okay. I don't play by my water. So look, they say, dang, I'm a Scorpio. Yes, Jennifer. Yes. You chose to constantly have death, rebirth, death, rebirth, but that's alchemy. That's power in there. All you may feel stuck. Scorpio fixed signs are stubborn. Stubborn me. I'm not doing what you say. That's narcissistic. I'm not doing what you say. My way or the highway. And that, with that, it goes into like, okay, let me release that. Let me calm down. All the universe will always send stuff in to force my fixed signs to change. Force transformation. They want to talk about Scorpio was trying. No, Scorpio was forced. That's where the pain come in. And that's where the death, the ego death come in. It of like Scorpios of like, okay, I'm doing this, but why are you forcing me to do that? I'm trying to focus on here, but you making me do this. Force transformation. Okay, force nothing talking about like oh Scorpio train. No, you you are really picking up that scorpion, picking up that eagle, picking up that phoenix and killing it. Or taking it out in its environment or doing something to hurt it in some type of way. Some type of way and making that baby go through their death. Now with that, that's why I said I'm hard on my water signs about taking care of the energies, taking care of their life, getting that power together. Because again, if you don't do it, you're going to attract something outside of you to force you to do it. That's why I say I'm hard on y'all. Because a lot of times they're not doing it. See that? I know you. My water signs, you're not doing it. So that's why I'm down your throat. Get up and take that class. Do it. Get that degree in Reiki. Master the energy levels of the waters. You know, get educated as a nurse. As something like that, you know, master that water energy. What is a degree? It's under your belt. That's your resume when you cross over to God. When you die and really meet your maker, because remember, you can meet your maker alone. Write that down. You will not meet your maker with groups of people. Even if you die in a group, you will be alone when you meet your maker. That's like the principal calling you into the office to talk about your bad behavior, your good behavior. All right. Um. So with that, it's like what it is you're going through right now. Remember that. There's a lot of death energy with this Aries energy, Saturn and uh, Pisces. I didn't know either to this year. Something happened. I realized, oh my God, I think I was listening to somebody's podcast or something. And they was like, uh, they hit They said something that made me realize Pisces rule death. It's not a fixed sign. It's mutable. I ain't know. I'm learning. That's why I said it ain't Scorpio to rule death. Mutable sign. That's a trick my uh, wisdom likes. Write that down. Mutable signs, Gemini, Virgo, Sag, Pisces, they rule death. They rule death. Alchemy. Alchemy. Why? They change the season. They don't mind changing. They don't mind dying. That's why you see a lot of Sagittarian or uh, uh, Piscean people always doing something or all over the place or they feel just like depressed. 
or, or you see a fire sign. Oh, I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. I got to, you know, that movement energy. I got to move mutable signs, but they don't, because like I said, I didn't realize I'm 31 years old. I didn't realize mutable signs deal with death until like I had to go through these death experiences with this Leo energy with mutable sign, eighth house Pisces of like, oh, snap. Pisces rule death. It's like um, an ending. Again, last zodiac sign. So with the change of each season, spring, fall, winter, all that mutable signs change the season. Something died away. Something is being reborn. Aries, cardinal signs. Aries, Libra, uh, Cancer, um, Capricorn, cardinal signs, birth. That's why in order for you to get on the planet, you got to go through those cardinal signs. Life look ebb and flow. Yes, Stephanie. Yes. Come on, Sarah. Sagittarius. Hey, y'all. Double tap that screen. Look, we're going to end, y'all. I'm talking about the ascension journey. We're talking about astrology. We're talking about this hard transits with Saturn and Pisces. A lot of karmic endings, stories ending. Because remember, Pisces rule the spirit realm, the storybook of life. A lot of things are ending. A lot of things are letting go. A lot of things are um, hard right now for people to face. That delusionment. What lies? Because Pisces rule lies. What lies have you been telling yourself? No more lying to yourself. Wake up. I, that's why I be so hard on my water signs. Get real. Get real. Get real. Get real. Get real. Um, Take care of your energy. Every water sign. If I was a president, I would say every water sign needs to be. I will, it would be a fine. It would be a fine. <laughs> it would be a fine. A, a thousand dollars a month fine for every water sign. If they do not have a degree in Reiki, nursing, being a doctor, some type of spiritual practice, some type of spiritual practice to deal with energy work, cleansing work, massage therapy, something. If if you are Pisces or, or Cancer or Scorpio water sign energy, if you don't have some type of degree or certificate in some water energy work, healing work, you need to be fined $1,000 a month. Y'all need to know how to move that energy. Y'all need to know how to get it done. Y'all need... Oh, my God. I'm having a vision, y'all. Y'all need to clear house. And a lot of it. And when I... Okay, so with the water signs, I would say spring cleaning should not be once a year. It should be like every month. Like she said, ebb and flow of life. Ebb and flow. If you want to flow in life, you should be spring cleaning once a month. Why? Spiritual baths. Um, saging the incense in the house, burning that frankincense and myrrh, that sandalwood, that uh, oh, I love benzoin. Benzoin is a good purifier. I love it. Benzoin, um, is another a uh, couple of uh, resins I love to burn. Um, amber. Be careful with amber. Amber will catch fire. Amber is a real, real good one. That's that Leo engine. That's raw energy. It will heal you. It will take care of you. Okay, it will take care of you. All right. Um, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Um, I'm trying to see. Um, uh, I'm trying to see what else people want to talk about. Y'all, we talked about a lot. I've been on. I've been on live for like two hours now. Like this is a lot of energy flowing. I'm starting to sweat. I'm outside of my car, y'all. This is my new car. Look again, if y'all know anybody that's hiring, help me out. Like I said, I'm under a heavy spiritual attack, Saturn and Pisces. And I'm a Leo, sun side. On my sun side, is going through my eighth house. I'm going through a heavy spiritual death attack against me with billionaires, millionaires. I know you see this person on my triangle, say his name. This is one of my twin flames, okay? Um, and that's why his head not right, because he's not talking to his spiritual advisor. I'm his luck. I'm his, I'm his, I'm his wisdom. Okay? So if y'all know him out there, tell him, reach out and face me. Okay, face those fears, y'all. North Node in Aries, South Node in Libra. Face those fears or lose that money. All right, I'm going to close out on there. Book a private session, y'all. I love y'all so much. Look, she said, you better. Yeah, that's right. I love y'all so much. I will be on live again, hopefully soon. Reach out, talk to me. I love y'all so, so much. Remember, in order to get that money, you got to love yourself unconditional on every level, okay? I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.